So welcome back everyone, Triple M here with another quick video and uh, this is gonna be the easiest way to install third-party applications on your new Nvidia Shield. Now this will work on any version of the Nvidia Shield including the 2019 Pro and the 2019 Standard. Now, received a lot of questions about this. I saw a couple reviews and it uh, seems to be a lot of confusion, but this I think honestly is the easiest method. For this to work, you'll need three things. An Nvidia Shield, you'll need a PC, on the same network and you will need the explore file explorer so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it all right so if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button in the top right smash that notification bell guys and remember the best way to show your support for this channel is to smash your thumbs up and share this video on your social media and also if you guys are looking for vpn deals ip vanish extended their cyber security deal guys links are in the description of this video so i'm not going to keep you guys much longer uh, this uh, is going to be the easiest method you transferring the apks from your pc to your nvidia shield and you're doing it all over the network so first thing we're going to do we're going to go to the play store and we're going to look for the explorer file explorer this is the one we're looking for guys i do have it installed already but go ahead click on it install the application and once you install it it'll either give you a prompt to allow it to install third-party applications but if it doesn't you go to your settings gonna go to device preferences gonna go all the way down we're looking for security and restrictions so click on that click on unknown sources and right here explore will be turned off by default you want to go ahead and turn that on so Explore is able to install those applications that we're gonna transfer over. So you can go ahead and add it guys, I do have it right there. And um, all you have to do is hit the plus button and the app will be somewhere where you can go ahead and add it to your main screen. So that's part one. So the next thing you wanna do guys is gonna go to your settings. What we're gonna do is enable the Nvidia Shield to receive and transfer files over the network. So we're gonna click on settings. We're gonna go down to device preferences and we're gonna click on storage. Now where it says transfer files over local network, all you need to do is turn that on. Confirm, turn it on again. And you can see it creates a username, uh, it gives you a password, it gives you an IP address. So you will need to make note of all three of these because we will need it when we head over to the PC. So you can see mine is Triple M and it created a, a random mean green Cairo. And it also gives you the IP address which you will need. So mine's 192.168.1.60. So that's all we need for the NVIDIA Shield right now. So now we're gonna head over to the PC. So first thing we're gonna do guys, we're gonna open the file explorer on the PC. So easy to get to, it should be on the bottom right here. You can just click on it, it will open. Or if you don't find it right there guys, if you go here and you type this PC, click on that, it will open your file explorer. And so what you're gonna do guys, you're gonna click right there and this is where you'll need your credentials, your IP address, as well as your username and password. So before you put an IP address, you're gonna type the backslash twice. And this is the button that's over the enter button, guys. A lot of people get it confused. We're gonna type in 192.168.160. All right, so that was the IP that was given by the Nvidia Shield. Click OK, and we now have access to the storage of the NVIDIA Shield. How cool is that? So if you click on that, you can see you have your alarms, your DCIM, your downloads, your movies, music, whatever the case is. So you can choose whichever folder you want to put them in. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to put um, those APKs in my downloads. You can see right now that folder is completely empty. I do have some APKs here, guys, that I did download but before I, I transfer them over just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to get these applications downloaded now one of the coolest websites that I use is apkpure.com so if you go there guys you can search for whatever application you need so I do have Puffin downloaded also have Aptoy TV downloaded and anything else that you can imagine uh, more than likely will be 
in the store. I also went over the file link and I downloaded the APK for that as well, guys. So pretty straightforward. If you just click on the green download button right here, it will go ahead and download. And once you have that stuff downloaded, pretty simple. You can just drag the APK to the folder. You can drag it directly into the shield folder that you want. So this is my NVIDIA shield right here. Let's open the folder that I downloaded those three APKs in. So what I'm going to do, guys, you can just highlight all of them. You're going to right click, copy paste and just like that all of those downloads are on my nvidia shield so let's go ahead and switch over to the nvidia shield so back over to the nvidia shield and we're going to go ahead and open the explore file explorer so launch it so over to the right is your land local area network it's not what we're looking for we're going to go to the left and where it says internal storage internal shared storage let's click on that and there's our download folder. Notice next to it, there's a three. That means that we have three files um, that needs our attention. So click on that. There are the three applications that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and install them. Just make sure everything's working properly. So let's start with Aptoid. Click on it. Click install. All right. Let's just go ahead and open it. Make sure it works properly. All right, click OK there. Allow Aptoid access folders, up to you. I think you have to allow it, so just click Allow. And there we are, guys. A lot of cool applications on here, a lot of third-party applications that you'll need. And um, this is a blessing. You might have to go back over to your security and make sure that unknown sources for um, Aptoid TV is turned on. All right, so we're gonna go back over to Explore. By the way, to get to that screen, guys, all you have to do is double tap the circle button on your remote. So the next one is File Link. All right, we're gonna go down, we're gonna install it. All right, File Link finished. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we go. Um, file link all you need to do is put in your store code or the store code that you want to use and you can go ahead and install any application that's on that particular store i'll go ahead and put my uh, store code in the screen right now uh, a lot of the apps need to be updated but a lot of them uh, you can't update from within the app so um, it's still somewhat functional i'll try to get some of those apps inside of my file link updated now the last one is Puffin, and Puffin is the application a lot of people are asking about as well. So what happened is Puffin, the recent updates, they don't allow you to download and install applications directly from the browser. So what we have to do essentially is to roll back the Puffin version to an older version that allowed it, and then we can install applications from Puffin. So first, before you do anything, you will need to make sure that if you do have Puffin already, you go ahead and uninstall it first. So go over to your settings, Go down to apps. Go to see all apps. And uh, let's see if we have Puffin. Look like we do not. If you guys see it, let me know. So we don't have Puffin. So after Puffin is deleted or you verify that you don't have Puffin installed, we need to do one more step in the Play Store. So click on the Play Store. We're going to go to our settings. And we need to go to auto update apps. Click on that. And we want to turn that off, guys. So what happens if you leave that on is once you install that old version of Puffin, it will automatically update and then you're in the same um, boat again. So make sure that's turned off. Double tap the circle button again and we're going to go back to explore. All right, so we're going to go down to Puffin. Keep note of the version I'm using is 7.8.1.40497. Uh, there's a lot of different versions. You might have to go to the APK Pure website and try to find the version that works for you. So I'm going to click on it. Go down, install. And we're going to click open. All right. I'm going to click the center button a couple of times. Agree allow and there we go um, in the puffin browser guys so that's it for this video if you guys have any questions just let me know i went on a little bit longer than i wanted to but just wanted to make sure that you guys get the basic concept of how to set everything up and once it's up and running i truly feel that this is the fastest method to get 
applications to your new Nvidia Shield. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please smash that thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.